Hello everyone, Howard here. Um, welcome back to the channel. I'm back again with a Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter 2022 new model introduced by Omega in March 2022. Model numbers 210.30.42.20.10.001. Um, if you watch my video, uh, again, my name is Howard. I'm a watch enthusiast. I don't work in the watch industry at all. My job has nothing to do with watches. So I do this video in my spare time and I share them, you know, with, with uh, whoever is interested. So thank you to all my fans for your support and subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, I'd appreciate it if you could consider subscribing. Uh, man, this is, a, first of all, a substantial big watch. Uh, the basic stats, 42 millimeters, case size, 13.56 thick. I don't have the lug to lug, but the lug to lug doesn't look too bad at all uh, because it's it's very short lug space here, and the lug width is 20 millimeters. It's thick, uh, it's thick and it's big, but not too crazy, right? Weight wise, it's definitely a little bit on the heavier side. This one with the metal bracelet is 198 grams, or 6.98 ounces, almost seven ounces. If you opt for the rubber strap, uh, it does have the rubber strap option as well it's a little bit cheaper um, then the entire watch is only 114 grams of 4.02 ounces much much lighter it's almost 80 84 grams lighter uh, the bracelet metal versus the rubber um, you know I don't like to compare too much you know people uh, may be saying you know if you don't if you can't get or you don't want to pay the price of a Rolex, you know, Sub or Hulk, you know, here's a great option. And I think it is, right? I mean, yes, every brand have their own prestige needs. Uh, you know, everyone loves a Rolex Sub. It's the most popular watch, blah, 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 Hulk. But, you know, you can't get the Hulk, you know, from uh, it's, it's no longer available. Even the Kermit, you, you can't get it unless you're a big VIP. If you want to pay secondary market price, it's double the MSRP or more, right? I mean, this is a possibility. If you like diving watches, you know, what's not like about this, right? Yes, it's a little bit bigger or heavier. Um, but if you have a big wrist, uh, definitely you can handle this. If you have a wrist of a 17 or higher, I'll try on my small wrist later. It's definitely no problem at all. And the price is much cheaper, right? Um, I'll talk about it a little bit later as well. So Caliber 8880, I mean, 88. 100 8800 self winding movement with coaxial uh, escapement you know the other thing is you know uh, anti-magnetic to 15,000 gauze i mean that's crazy good uh power reserve a little bit low 55 hours in in you know modern standard uh, 300 meters obviously a thousand feet uh, but again how many folks <laughs> gonna wear this or oh, the uh you know sub go 300 meters diving you know we're probably just gonna sit at the beach drinking some coffee and beer, uh, have fun and look cool. Um, you know, the highlight of the watch is obviously the bezel and the dial, right? Green, it's a dark green. I mean, I'm indoor, uh, you know, with regular white light, so it looks a little bit darker on, uh, on the video versus the uh, live natural light. Beautiful green dial uh, with the laser etched, you know, ocean wave and the ceramic, um, bezel with white uh, i guess enamel uh, you know the diving scale 60 minute uh you know very nice i mean to me you got the skeleton in the signature skeleton hand um i think it's rhodium plated to 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 anti-corrosion uh, and the field with super nom uh, nova for the hours and the point of the hour hand and the minute hand and the markers the date um you know seamaster day is always a little bit small I guess the you know main purpose of the watch is dive, not looking at the date. But the date could be a little bit bigger though. But overall, extremely some you know symmetric choco. You know it's date in the six o'clock. I like it. Um, mostly in you know, the case, I would say besides the side of the bezel, it's like a half polished, half nickel finish. But the side of the case is sort of nickel finish and. Uh, inside shoulders nickel then the outside tiny bit of a polish just a little sliver of polish and the side direct side is 
nickel finish again, um, polished crown with Omega logo. Here's a little helium escape valve. I think they changed the valve shape to a more of a, I think it might be round before now. It looks like a, uh, I don't know. It's like a hammer type a little bit. Uh, bracelet feels very strong. The bracelet is very thick. Look at the, how thick the bracelet is. Five link, one, three, five. So the outside and the centers, nickel finished, and the two small pieces have a little bit polished. Uh, collapse is very strong. It looks solid, man. This piece is very solid. Although I'm a little bit surprised. There's no safety over the top of this. There's no safety collapse, if you will, safety lock. Because it's a diving watch after all, right? after all. Uh, without a safety and yeah, interesting and it has the easy you know all these new watches have an easy push you can push to adjust I think maybe up to five quick adjustment very 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 nice diver 300 300 meter Omega master coaxial 8800 that's the movement at least you can see through it a little bit. Unlike the Rolex, basically you cannot see at all. Here's a little movement. Now, one thing I do want to point out is obviously because it's a diving watch, it's unidirectional counterclockwise. You can only rotate this direction you cannot go the other way it's for safety measure right if he accidentally bumps it let's like this so it makes the diving time appear to be you know more than the actual time so you will surface early it's a safety measure although i do think because of the design of the edge right you see it's not like the rolex has a lot of small teeth it's very easy for you to grab on this one i feel like all the omega c masters basically have this type of design it takes a little bit of effort, almost like your hand needs to hold a little bit harder in order to rotate. Otherwise, it could easily like slip, slip. So you have to push down, hold a little bit harder. Very nice click sound. All right, let me put on my wrist to see how this big watch look on my small wrist. Okay, I have a smaller wrist, six and a half inches, 16.5 centimeters. So, I mean, it's it's definitely, it's 42, but the lug to lug is not too bad at all. Um, my guess is probably 48, 49. It doesn't look too bad at all because you can see the edge of the lug is still within, the, you know, well within the side of my small wrist, right? Definitely because of the bottom design, this and you know sits up a little bit you can see the angle here if we tighten it let me tighten it if we tighten it more right then it doesn't look too bad right it looks much much better fit but it is big um it is big very very beautiful though I love green watches. I mean, I've never owned one uh, with a green dial. Um, I've had black, silver, white, blue, uh, green one. Maybe one day I should own one. It just looks so nice. Now, the price in the United States is 5400 5400 plus sales tax if you live in a state that charges sales tax. Uh, with the bracelet if you go for the rubber one it's 5100 uh, so the rubber one is also very nice right it's it's pretty thin not super stiff it's very soft unlike the you know protect aquanaut the, the rubbers you know i feel a little, lot more stiffer than this this feels actually almost i don't know maybe a little bit too light again it's very very nicely made um, but with the rubber strap it's 5100 5100 plus sales tax 
Uh, you know, the website right now says it's sold out, but I'm sure if you walk into the store, even if they don't have it, you can order one, can probably get it fairly quickly. Uh, I mean, you do see some of these on the secondary market already. Uh, price right now is around 6000 to 6500 for a brand new piece. Uh, so it's about 600 to 1000 above retail MSRP. Uh, but I would just suggest you, you know, check out different Omega shops. Uh, I'm sure you can get one. If, if they don't have it, order one. No problem at all. There's no need to pay uh, above MSRP for Omega watch, I mean, unless it's a special one. Again, you know, compared to a sub, you know, I'm not trying to say this is a replacement or one's better than another. I would never say one's better than another. Everyone's preference is different. A sub with a date, 41 millimeter, a little bit smaller, a little bit thinner, is 10,100, right? It's almost double the price. Uh, not quite double, but almost double. And the secondary, um, uh, with the green bezel, not the Hulk, the Kermit is about uh, 10,600 official price. Secondary, I haven't looked recently, but I'm guessing maybe still around 20,000. I mean, you can get this one for five to six instead of 20 if you want to try with a different brand. I like it. You know, one of my, in fact, not one of my, my first entry into the entry-level luxury watch was Omega Seamaster 50th anniversary uh, GMT. So I have a special connection with Omega. I mean, I don't dive, obviously, and my wrist is small, but if I do do a little bit more water sport, and if I have a bigger wrist, I will absolutely consider this beauty. What a nice watch. Again, this is the Omega Seamaster Diver 300 meter, 2022 new model, coaxial master chronometer uh, with green dial and the green bezel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.